Welcome back to my channel, I am Alina and today we are going to learn some essential Charles feature every QA must know. First feature, Map Remote. It is a redirection from one side to another one. You can use this feature in a very different way, but now I will show you my simple example. First of all, start Charles and start recording. Now we are going to the tool settings and we need to find here Map Remote button, press on it. Here we can see a strange pop-up here. Then we need to go to our browser and enter here google.com and press enter or whatever search button you have. Copy this google.com link and enable Map Remote in your charts. Press add button here and paste your link to the host field. Now I will show you a Charles secret trick. Are you ready? Press the top button here. You can see that the all information was spread to the correct cells. Now we need to do the same for the page we are going to redirect. For me it will be youtube.com site. So I go to the browser, enter here, YouTube and press search button. And smart browser will do other work. We need to copy this link and Okay, let it be here and paste it to the map to host field and save it via OK button. Now we need to press OK button one more time. Okay, so now we can see how it actually works. We need to enter our first site we've entered to the field map remote from to the browser search tab. For me, it will be google.com and press enter button. And now you probably could see some magic here. Oh my god, this is YouTube, how it could be? But actually it works, hooray, you nailed it. If you see this error on your screen, don't panic. Try to reinstall Charles certificate for your browser and also don't forget to relaunch Charles and relaunch your browser. I will make a short video how to reinstall Charles certificate for your browser. I'm curious, do you know where testers and developers use this feature in their work? Write in comments your ideas, I'll be glad to read them. Explanation of request structure and API. Firstly, we need to turn off our map remote for the future demonstration. The second feature I want to show you is rewrite. This feature is handy when you need to simulate different situations, for example, to see different responses or error messages. We will use Swagger Pet Store for the demonstration. All links will be in the description. Firstly, I want to show you this API and explain how it works and also explain what does mean all this weird, bizarre text in responses. Okay, so let's go to the pet store Swagger and then go to the Charles tab. And then we need to find here pet store Swagger link, press on it and press focus button. Now your pet store URL is focused and all requests to the pet store API now will be shown without other requests it could be in your browser. Also tap on the link and press here enable a cell proxy button in order to see encrypted actual requests data. Next go to the pet store please. A little explanation. This is an API documentation. This is Swagger. Here we could see a collection that allows us to create a pet, to update a pet, to delete a pet and to find a pet. So let's create a pet together. We need to find a request for the pet creation. Got it here. Add a pet to the store. Here we can see an example of how our body uh, request should look like. So I want to create a cat which name should be meow. So I need to enter into the category field name cat and into the name field meow. Before this also press try it out button and then we need to press execute button. Let's try. Hooray! We have created a cat. Now we need to go to the Charles request tab and find here v2 folders. God knows why developers decided to call it like that but let it be. And we need to find here a request called pet. Okay, we find it. Hooray! So here you can see our request and response structures. You can choose any format you want, JSON, text, raw, etc. It's up to you. Okay, let's choose the row tab and here we can see that our pet was created successfully because we have 200 status here. And also we can see actual information about our pet. This is cat, it has name now. So we successfully created a cat. Congratulations! Now I want 
to update on our existing pet. And as far as you can see, the response body in Swagger and our response body in Charles are different. So we found our first bug. Hooray! And this means that we need to copy all in our information from the Charles stock. Copy selection, for example. And then press try it out button, paste all information here and change something. For example, I want to change name to Susan. Then press execute button. Hooray! We changed something. A grown -up thing! In the swagger, we can see a uh, 200 status. This means that everything is okay. So let's go to the, our chart stop and find here our request. Here we can see that our name was successfully changed. And that's all. We can also make a get request to see if uh, our name was updated in the database because these requests have too many bugs. <laughs> So go to the Swagger tab and find here find pet by ID request and execute it by yourself. You can do it very easily by copying the ID, try it out also and paste it here and execute. And here we can see in the response body all information of our current pet and that the name was updated. Hooray! And then go to the Charles and find here pet folder and find here our get request. And here we can see that all our information was correctly updated. We've done a great job. Rewrite body. If the explanation was complicated for you, this would be a lot harder. But together we can nail everything. Now we will write the response body and also update pet request. Firstly, we need to find update pet request in the Charles tab here. Go to the overview tab and find here URL. Press on it and copy it. Okay, great. Then go to the tools, uh, find here a write, press on it and press enable rewrite and also press add button. Here near the location tab, press add button. Paste our copied URL into the host field. And don't forget about the magic tab button. Then press an on OK button and also save all our settings by clicking OK button. Then go to the contents tab, choose a row format and copy all our response in the update request in charts. Copy this selection. Then go OK to the right tool, go to the our untitled set and uh, press add button near the action. Then we need to choose type body. Okay, great. Then enter into the value tab our copied response and into the second field too. And also we need to replace something, we need to change something. For example, we could change status. I want to change status to the status salt, for example, because we have only three statuses in our API. It is pending, available and salt. And also we are rewriting now our response. So we need to mark response and unmark a request and also press OK button and also press OK button by saving this. And now we need to repeat this request. But I don't want to go to the Swagger and tell you another secret about the charts. We have here magic repeat button. So let's just do it. And here we can see in our response status sold. Hooray! But this status was changed only for response. If you go to the our get request here and repeat it via our magic repeat button, we can see here that our request hasn't been changed. You can also try to change request body by yourself by choosing a request radio button in the rewrite action tab. So we have done a great job. Rewrite status code. Okay, so we have already learned how to rewrite request body, but now I want you to learn something new. How to rewrite code status. And we will rewrite response status for the update patch request. So let's start. For this we need to find our update patch request here. Go to the overview tab and copy our URL here. Okay, then go to the, our tools, find the right, press add button, press add button near the location and add our uh, URL into the host field. Press tab button, our magic button and press OK. Also, don't forget to switch off our previous right because we don't want any issues with it and also press OK button. We need to go to the our write tab again, find our rewrite, press add near the action tab, choose type response status in the drop down list. 
super, enter into the value match field 2, 0, 0, and into the replace field value 5, 0, 5, and press very annoying OK button and again press very annoying ok button <laughs> then we need to repeat our update patch request with the magic repeat button <sighs> oh my god now we can see that our request looks like a bomb and no you are not looking to the mirror we've just got server error my congratulations <laughs> rewrite with modify and the last rewrite i want to show you is rewrite with modifying parameters. For this, we need to find a new request with the parameters. So we need to go to the Swagger and find a proper one. Here we can see find by status request. Here we don't need any pets IDs, we have only parameters. We need to choose one of the status. Let it be available and execute this request. Here in the charts, we could see this request in the pet folder, find by status request. In order to create new rewrite, we obviously need to copy the URL. So copy it and go to the tools, to the right and press add button. Perfect. Then we need to add new location, press add button and paste our URL into the host field. And press magic tab button, don't forget about it. Also we need to clear all information from the query and press very annoying ok button. Super. And also don't forget to turn off previous rewrite. Then press ok. Ok, so then we need to add parameters. We are going to our right tab and press add button near the action tab. Choose type here modify query parameters. Super. Then we need to enter name of value that we need to change. In our case it is status. Into the field value we need to enter our current value, it is available. And then we need to do the same for the fields replace, we need to enter status into the name field and we need to enter another value to the field value so we have only three options here available salt and pending i'm choosing to enter here salt and press very annoying ok button here and here so we need to repeat our find by status request with a magic brilliant repeat button and now we can see that our magic works. We could see every pet here that has salt status. Hooray! We have nailed it, that's all! <laughs> Hooray! So don't forget to switch off a right and the right requests you don't need. It could solve a lot of future problems for you. So this is the end. Smash like button if you like my instructions and feel free to write a comment if you have any issues. And don't be upset if something goes wrong. Even a great specialist could face problems with unknown features.